My guest this day is Dr. David Sohn. He is the founder and CEO of Transform Materials, and he and I are going to be talking about green chemistry. Can you please tell me what is green chemistry and what is the goal of green chemistry? Green chemistry is the way of the future. We cannot be doing things business as usual like before. As you know, we live in a tiny little sphere. In my lifetime, the global population has doubled. We must find a way and the willpower to make chemicals in a sustainable way going forward. How might I use green chemistry? Medicine traditionally is affectionately known as creating brick dust. These are small molecules that could be toxic. Chemotherapy is an example. Green chemistry in the broadest sense will use cutting edge technologies such as monoclonal antibody. That's very uh, efficacious. But in the future, there will be more uses of plant derived materials instead of petroleum derived materials. And even then, starting from low growth forest, forest products to agricultural waste. So rice hull, soybean hull, to be used to make single-use plastics obsolete. That's the overarching goal of one of my projects. And as you must have heard of CCS, carbon capture and storage. Yes. The real lofty goal is to be able to carbon capture and utilize the CO2. Returning the CO2, which is the end product, so stable, it's just dumped into the atmosphere back to the beginning of the loop. So it's a closed loop carbon. These are really exciting goals for green chemistry. Thank you so much for all of this valuable information, sir. We greatly appreciate your time and your information and expertise in this area of green chemistry.